airline manager for best hubs. I'm going to show you some of the best hubs in the game, specifically in South America. So what I've been doing is I've been buying up um, hubs along the coastline. It's my opinion that Lima, Peru is one of the best hubs in the game. And the reason why is because it has a very large number of flights over 19,000 kilometers with a stopover that bring in high ticket prices. So what I did was I bought some of the other hubs, Pura and Trujillo. This is Trujillo over here. And I'm going to show you how to find them. You click on hubs in the upper left. Here I have my Lima, Peru hub. See, I've got a lot of planes over here. I'm going to look at one of them. We'll look at this one here. 7925 That's a really good ticket price. It's hard to find prices over 8000 Okay, that's cargo, so I'm going to skip that. I want to stick to passengers. This one is 7,801. Notice, obviously, it's less than the other aircraft, but it's still pretty good. 7,900 is pretty good. As I said, you're going to have a lot of good long-range flights. So I'm going to look at some of the other hubs. I guess I will check Chicago might be empty. Yeah, Chicago's empty. Let's check Cocos. Cocos is a good hub. I'm going to check this one right here. Notice that the price is substantially lower. 7600 it's about 5% lower than the other hubs. And this is in Cocos. And the reason why is because there's not enough long-range flights. I got as many as I could, but the ones that are in the 18,000 range or the 19,200, they're just not going to bring in the same ticket prices as something that's doing 20,000 kilometers. So I'm going to look at some of the new ones that I have we've got Pura got a bunch of planes over here uh, this one actually that's cargo got 8137 that's a really good ticket price and then I'm gonna look at Trujillo Got two planes. We're going to check one of them. 7,800. That's pretty good. And this one is 8,083. So now what you want to do is you want to take the lower income flights and move them into the better hubs. So we'll check Bolivia. They all look pretty good, but we'll check this one. 8,048, that's really good. That's La Paz, Bolivia. I know that Mongolia is good. We'll check Bogota, Colombia. These all look like good flights, but you notice that it's limited. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I didn't add any more because I probably didn't find any good ticket pricing. 8,138. We'll do Montevideo in Uruguay. I think this is gonna be the one I'm looking for. 7,900, that's still pretty good. But I had to limit 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I probably had trouble finding flights for good prices after that. I just did this yesterday. I found flights. I don't know why I'm finding them. I'm not finding them right now. So Santiago, Chile. Okay, it's got to be this one. 7,700. So this is a lot lower than the ones that are 8,000, 7,900, et cetera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroute it. I'm going to do a ferry flight. And I'm going to send it to... This is Trujillo. I'm going to create that route and depart it. When I get there, I should be able to get a flight that does better than 7,700. So I'm going to try a different tactic this time, which is going to be, I will pick a random one like Cuba. I'm going to abandon this hub. Because Cuba didn't give me long-range flights. Maybe it did short-range flights. Yemen I'm going to abandon. Laos, I'm probably going to get rid of this one also. Because these are not good hubs. Kandahar, Afghanistan doesn't have long-range flights. You don't get the high-income pricing. I know Atlanta is going to be the same. There's nothing in Atlanta because I couldn't find the long range flights. Okay, we'll try Buenos Aires. So you see that there's a ton of flights over here. Looking for something that's short range. I got a 19.3, 19.1. Seven thousand seven hundred. That's not the best. I want eight thousand. So I'm going to reroute it. I'm going to do a ferry flight to Trujillo. Not worried about the cost because I got tons of money, and I'm going to depart it. And then what's going to happen is when those planes arrive there, I'm going to try to book them for ticket pricing in the 8,000 range. Okay, so here's another trick you're going to use. You go over here. You go to the hub, a good hub, like Lima, Peru. And we're going to look for a long flight. Here's one at 20,049. 7,900, that's pretty good. It goes to Thailand. So we're going to move to Thailand. You notice I got a lot of planes here in this area. And the reason why is because these planes are going to go to Lima, Peru, and they're going to get the same ticket prices. We'll check this one here. I don't see the information about the hub. But you can see it's Bangkok, Thailand, and it's going to Lima, Peru. I might not have a hub there. It might be the desk. Yeah, it's a destination. But if I buy this hub, you're going to have lots of flights to Peru. And Bangkok is a pretty big city. So you're all familiar with Hawaii. Hawaii is an island in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the Pacific. So over here, and the reason why I was able to find flights 
to Hawaii is I went to Hawaii and then I searched.